Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in my hands right here, we got the Top Dawn Phoenix Elite, right next to the Phoenix Plus. Now in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick overview of what this scan tool can do, because I'm going to have a detailed review coming up in a couple of weeks, as there's a lot to explain. And I'm going to use this in real life. So nothing is staged. I just went ahead and activated this last night. And on my sprinter, I have an airbag light, which another less expensive tool could not go ahead and reset. So we're going to hook this up today. It's already updated. So all we need to do is go ahead and plug in the VCI into my OBD2 port. Turn on the ignition. As soon as it plugs in, power turns on the unit, and the vehicle light turns on right there. Let's go ahead and do a quick auto scan. I always recommend having the unit connected to the internet the very first time you're going to go and use it. As you can see, right now it's actually doing an update, and this is exactly what you want from a high-end unit like this. You want to make sure that it offers the very best and most up-to-date information so this is automatic if you're using this in your car you may want to tether this to your phone because you want the best info you can do the repair the very first time the right way now with the VIN number pulled up let's go ahead and do a local scan and you can see now on the VCI here the vehicle communications interface we have the very bottom light actually turned blue so we're connected we can do an automatic search, manual select, and or we can do an ADAS calibration. And remember on the ADAS, you're going to need other tools to help you calibrate the sensors, such as optical cameras, lane departure assist, and some of those features that a lot of the new vehicles come with, including the automatic braking in case of an emergency. So we're going to go ahead and try to reset this airbag light here. So we got the airbag light. So I'm going to go ahead and do a manual select. And I'm going to choose printer here. And this is going to be a 907. So that's great. So we could do a health report here. Or we could just do a system select. I'm going to choose system select. Left hand drive. And we have the drive system. The chassis. We have information communications. Body. And then seat and doors. So the SRS system is actually part of the body. So we're going to choose that. And the nice thing is about having a wireless scan tool like this is we can use it anywhere. So let's go ahead and choose the SRS. We're going to choose SRS. Ignition is on. And what we can do is we can go ahead and read the codes here. And it gives me the codes. It lets me know that they're stored. If you're not familiar with working around vehicles, you normally want to write down these codes before you erase anything. And I'm going to go ahead and clear the codes here. And we can go ahead and attempt to read the codes. And now we see no fault codes. And on the vehicle, you can see that the SRS light is now off. So that was pretty cool. And using this unit is very easy. We've got a nice 10 inch display, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of memory on board. So this thing is basically flying through all the different modules here. It gives you a nice reminder to go ahead and not forget your little VCI connector there as that would be very expensive to do. We can go scan, you could do an auto scan. We have those services. So this unit currently offers 34 hot services and it comes with two years of updates. And we got the ADS here, we got the battery tester, we got the updates, we have a remote support feature here which uses team viewer and you can go ahead and access the phoenix elite here from the computer we got a library which basically will give you all the obd2 fault codes the vehicle coverage learning materials and we have google chrome so if we want to use any sort of online portal such as mitchell's on demand to repair vehicles we can go ahead and just do it all from the comfort of the top down phoenix elite here we got a history and again I just got this unit and so I'm keeping my review as real as I can just like you guys would so 
I can give you guys the best feedback. And talking about feedback, you could go ahead and submit feedback here in case you're running into an issue. And they can try to fix it. We have a user information system here. And basically, we can activate the unit. We can fix firmware and lots of cool little stuff. And we can also recall any videos that we recorded and the photos as well. And to record or take any pictures, you're just going to go ahead and swipe down. Hit this little button right there and we can take a picture. That's how easy it is. And we can also use the camera here. And the camera is pretty cool because it allows me to do several different things, including scanning VINs if needed on the previous model, which was the Top Down Phoenix. Plus, I was not able to scan the VIN here on the Sprinter, as well as the Toyota. And I can take a picture. Save it if needed. And if we go ahead and do a scan here, one of the nice things about the Phoenix Elite here is it has a system overview. So basically we can visually see all the different modules and see what's online, what's working, what's not working. And we can just do an automatic search. And now it's going to go ahead and scan all the different modules here. So we have the body cam up top here in the green area. We have the power cam. We have the auto cam. We have the safe cam. And we have the ADS cam. And what we can do is do a smart scan here. Or we can choose what we want to scan. And you have two different ways of looking at this. So you can look at it in the orientation I have right now. Which is a system topology. Or you can go and hit system list here. It will go ahead and display for you all the different modules on the vehicle. And using the smart scan, you can go ahead and detect any issues with possibly any modules. So this is a great scan to go ahead and run when you first take a vehicle in to your service department. Or if you're thinking about buying a vehicle, this is probably one of the best tools that you can go ahead and use to do maybe a pre-sale inspection to save yourself or your customers lots of money. The system scan here is complete. I can go ahead and do a report now. I like this feature that Top Down offers. This is a pre-repair or post-repair or diagnostic scan. So I can go ahead and label this diagnostic scan. And if I wanted to go and fix this, I can do a pre-scan. And then after I'm done with the work, I can go ahead and do a post system scan and it will go ahead and label everything. So I'm going to leave this as diagnostic scan. And you can go and type in your shop information. Hit OK. It will generate out the report. That's time stamped. And everything is going to be color coded to let you know what's going on. And it will go and find those faults for you. So this is really impressive. And... I can go and clear all these different codes here just by hitting this clear DTC down here. I normally recommend having that report first or printing it out, but in this case it saved it for us. And in case you wanted to clear everything you could, you would touch the clear DTCs here and it will go through and erase all the different trouble codes. So that was pretty cool. Everything got cleared up and the ones that are still red lets me know that those were not able to get deleted and they're very minute. You can ignore those if you want. You can go ahead and have a diagnostic plan. So it'll give you all the different errors on one page from the motor electronics down to the different modules, air conditionings here. We've got head unit issues and something's going on with the cluster. And if you click on anything, it'll go ahead and give you the reason, the code, and you could actually enter that module. Just always make sure your ignition is on. And I do want to keep this video nice and short as I'm going to do a much longer review. So let's go ahead and check out the live data portion of this. I like the auto scan just because I don't have to worry about the VIN. 
So one thing with scan tools just like this, you're going to see an occasional bug here and there. And those things do happen. And just know that everything is actually fixed on future updates. So let's go to local diagnosis. And we're going to go to system select. We're going to choose the sprinter 907. And let's choose the drive system here. And we're going to go to motor electronics. And now what we can do is we can do a few different things. We can get module information. We could read fault codes, clear fault codes, read data streams, which we're going to do. We could also do actuation tests, special functions. So let's go into this actuation test. So these are the different actuation tests that we can go ahead and do. So this is a bi-directional scanner. And so what this means is not only can it read information from the vehicle, it could also go and send a command to the vehicle. And depending on your vehicle, you can go ahead and program certain modules. You could code things. Again, the best thing to do is to reach out to Top Down Support. I'm going to have an email link in the video description here where you can go ahead and just email them your VIN number, make and model. And I'll also have any special coupon codes that I find out there. So these are going to be all the different actuation tests that we can do here. So we got a fuel filter heater, we got an ignition shut off, we got an injector shut off, and we can also test the check engine light right here with the indicator lamp MIL. And we got special functions here. And under special functions, we got the diesel particular filter. We could initialize replacements of certain components. We can activate fuel pumps. We can do a zero value calibration. We can go ahead and reset a crash signal. So these are really nice functions to have on a fully professional tool like this. We got a variant coding. So depending on your vehicle, you can code stuff. We got a control unit programming. Again, pretty advanced features. We got lots of different options to go ahead and code. And let's go into the live data stream here just so we can go ahead and really take advantage of this nice 10 inch display. And here under read live data, check this out guys. We got all these different functions and one of the most important elements of a vehicle is the fact that it starts. So this has an engine start and basically if the starter doesn't turn. So what you could do here is check the supply voltage, see what the transmission is seeing as the position, whether it's in park or neutral, because automatic transmissions only turn on if it's either in park or neutral. And we could check the status of the starter here and we can go ahead and check out the status of the circuit 50. Hit OK and we can graph these individually. Or you could graph them in fours or even eights and you get real time data here so you can troubleshoot your car a lot faster. This is pretty cool. And let's attempt to start this vehicle now. So that's pretty cool. We can see that the voltage actually dropped. When I engage the starter, again, the circuit 50 is off, the starter off is checked off and the transmission currently is going to be in drive and automatically goes in updates anytime I go and change it into park or neutral. So if you were running into an issue where the vehicle wasn't starting and you thought it was a neutral safety switch, you can quickly diagnose it with this scan tool here. So this has a lot of great information here under the live data streams and I really like the way they broke everything down here. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief video here about the Top Don Phoenix Elite and in the video description down below. You'll also find a detailed video of this so I'm going to go into a little bit more in detail on that video and if you guys want to check that out please do so. I'll have links to anything that I find on the Top Don website that I think will be helpful to you in the video description. And be sure to check out the Top Don Phoenix Plus video here as it highlights some of the features that you get here from the Phoenix Pro series here. And honestly, the two units here are very similar, yet there's gonna be quite a bit different. So make sure you guys check out the videos in detail. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video here on the Phoenix Elite. I know this was a shorter video when you're considering spending over $1,500 for a scan tool like this. 
And I do want to thank Top Don for sending me this. As this is the coolest scan tool I've ever owned. And also, in the video link down below, you'll find the detailed review where I'm actually going to go ahead and give this a random fix tool grade so you guys can make a better decision for yourself. And I'm going to break everything down as far as function and pricing, and you guys can decide for yourself. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Please leave your comments and your questions below. Hit that subscribe button if you guys like the video and like the content that the channel provides you. Give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Make it a great day.